Hello, so this is the makeup I'm going to be doing today using loads and loads of new products, new eyeshadows, new highlighters, new foundation, um, new lip stuff. Um, and I've got new hair. Took my eyebrows off so those are all drawn on. And I'm in a new place because I moved house a couple of days ago. So, here we go. If you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. So, before foundation, I'm just going to go in and conceal some of the redness on my face um, a little bit first. So, I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Define Liquid Concealer in C2. Then to blend that out, I'm just going to take this flat, dense brush and pat the product in. Then for my foundation, I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape uh, Hydrating Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And to blend that out, I'm going to take my uh, Real Technique sponge. To brighten under my eyes a little bit, I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Correct uh, Concealer in C0 White. To contour, I'm going to take the NYX Wonder Stick in WS01 Light Slash Medium. So I'm going to take the contour side and just Sketch that on my cheekbones. Then to set under my eyes a little bit, I'm going to take this palette from Tarte, which is the Skin Twinkle Lightning Palette, and I'm going to take the middle shade, which is in Filtered Light. So now I'm going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. To highlight, I'm going to start off taking my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. Then I'm going to go in with another shade from this palette. I'm going to take the shade Sunlight Gold, which is the lighter shimmery colour. For my blush, I'm going to take a shade from this Revolution palette. I'm going to take the shade Peach Beach down here. And to go over that, I'm going to use this pressed highlighter in the shade Cutie Pie by Colour Drain. So this is a pink shade. It has a really nice shimmer to it. I'm just going to put that over the blush. So next, I'm going to do my lips. This is going to be in a really weird order, but I know what I want to do for my lips. And I've got a lot of options for my eyes. So I'm going to do my lips first, and then I can work out eyes after that. <laughs> so I'm going to start off taking the shade Blood Moon by Lime Crime. The liquid lipstick. And then over that, is going to be the Black Cherry Wet Cherry Gloss. I'm going to start off taking the shade Jet Set by Colour Drain. Then I'm going to take the shade Boss Step. I think that this is a pressed pigment. I'm just going to take that on a slightly smaller fluffy brush. Now I'm taking the shade Majestic. Then I'm going to take the shade Malibu and this one is metallic, so I'm going to take it on a flat brush. Then 
then I'm going to take the shade Blue Magic, which is another metallic one, and taking that on another flat brush to blend those together. I'm just going to take the dark blue and bring it over the top of the first one, patting and dragging that across. Then I'll take the first brush and go over as well. For a little bit of deepness under the eye, I'm going to take this shade Forbidden on a small pointed brush. And then, last of all, I'm going to take the shade Bay Breeze. To finish off the eyes, I'm going to line them using the Super Beauty Hydra Liner in the shade Grease, which is just black. And then I'm also going to add some dots and stuff using some more of the Hydra Liners and Hydra FX in Grape Soda, Fruzy and Jacksuit. For my lashes, I'm just going to take the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. For my eyebrows, I'm going to start off taking the Blonde Eyebrow Pomade by Freedom, just on my Essence Eyeliner Brush. Then to build up some more definition in my eyebrows, I'm going to take the Flawless MAC 2 palette by Makeup Revolution and taking this kind of dark grey shade on the same brush, I've just kind of wiped off any excess product from before and with this I'm going to start really really gently adding in hairs. If you then think that you've gone in with too much product in one space, you can go in with another thin brush and some concealer and just use that to separate the spaces again. So that is the makeup finish. Hope you liked this tutorial on how to do this makeup. Um, so using loads and loads of new stuff which I was really really happy with um, all the eyeshadows I haven't used before I'd used some of the other shades but not the ones that I used today so those are really really nice happy with the lips as well those are both ones I haven't used the um, lip glosses smell like drumsticks like the sweets which are amazing <laughs> Um, so yeah, everything else is all good. Uh, hope you like this, thanks for watching, see you again soon, bye.